the last effect we are going to fake is the reflection on our eyes. For this, I'm going to add a, a sphere all around our object. So just add a, a sphere like we did for the for the eye when we started. Just a pretty simple material, a regular white uh, material. No, doesn't matter. It's just by default. The thing we're going to trick though is the ray mirror option from the mirror and transp panel. We'll set the ray mirror to one, then render, and it's all black. Yes, because there's no there's nothing uh, to reflect there. So if we we can control this reflection, and now we can see through the reflection. We can see the original material behind it. Uh, by changing the Fresnel value of the ray mirror, but we want to see through it, so we're also changing the Fresnel value from the ray transp uh, column. So now we can see what we were doing before. Now it makes more sense. There. Let's make the background a little bit more interesting, so you can see that it's actually reflecting. Uh, change the color and let's put an image. I got a really cool image from David Reboy. I, I bet I misspell his name. He's a lead artist in the Durian. So just enable some se settings, real, ori, and uh, blend. So we have some other color on the on the horizon. Enough for now, let's uh, just render, see how it looks. Okay, so this is the effect I was looking for. This reflection. There. Just play with the Fresnel. If you leave it too strong, you could look really ugly, but a little bit on the side is nice. It gives that extra to the eye, I think. Okay, once more <laughs> the fall-off effect. I think I used it in every part of this chapter. Yes, the same uh, blend texture type sphere. And, uh, oh, another setting actually. Another thing I, I used to, to use, I like it actually. So I don't know if it's really elegant, <laughs> but I use the NOR value uh, on this uh, blend texture, which is actually doing the fall off effect. But as you can see, well, if you change the NOR value of it, the reflection gets a little bit distorted. And uh, when animated, I think it's a nice effect. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird. I don't know if it's correct or not, but I like it. <laughs> because it works pretty well animated. When you move all your objects and and your eye, especially. Oh, by the way, it can, it can get a little bit slow if you have many reflections going on there. So you can limit these uh, reflection bounces on the left slider on the ray mirror column there. You can also limit the distance of reflection in the Blender units by playing with the max dist option. You can limit the distance. For Blender to calculate this uh, this ray tracing uh, reflection in Blender units, by the way. Some more specular there. Make it a little bit more strong, but I think the material is yeah. It's getting yeah shadows. Take away the shadows from there. Now it's a little bit better. Nice. So this is our eye. I hope you like it.